Chapter 5, Spans and Parabolas. In Chapter 5, we look at spans and parabolas, ways to come up off a flat surface and back down again. Um, so one of the simplest and most elegant is a form called an X-form span, and that's made by folding the paper first into eights. So I'm going to divide in half and then into quarters, all with valley folds. If I'm working too fast for you, just use your pause button to keep catching me up. So we've divided into quarters and then into eighths by folding the edge to the far quarter. As if you've seen the movie for the basics chapter, then that's exactly what we did there in the demonstration. And now the opposite side, folding to the far quarter and then to the near quarter, which I did there without telling you on the other side. Uh, to the near quarter. So the paper is now divided into eighths, all with valley folds. So now, very importantly, turn the paper over so that all the valleys become mountains. Now we're going to fold on the diagonal. So turn the paper round, fold in half to make a triangle, and open. Turn the paper, and fold the other diagonal quite carefully. And now to fold the four corners to the centre point of the paper, which is here. So first one, and open, and keep turning the paper, folding the corners quite accurately to the centre. So now we're folding each corner in turn to the far fold here that we've just made. So the corner at the bottom folds up to this point, just there, and then we can fold across and open. Turn the paper, here's the fold across the top, so the corner far away moves up to it. Turn the paper again, the corner folds to the quarter line. Turn, and one more time, to fold the corner here to the quarter line up at the top. So we now have a pattern of squares and triangles that looks like this. One more fold to make in each corner, and that's by taking the corner to the nearest fold. And open, and turn to the next corner, fold, and open, and again, three times and one more four times. So we now have a regular grid of verticals and diagonals here all over the paper. So now the important thing is to make the span here at the end. So first of all turn the paper over so that your diagonals are mountains. Then very carefully use the finger underneath and pop that each X up. So here's an X, pop it up with your finger at the back and pop every X up. So it begins to make a gentle curve like that. So what can happen now is that if you squeeze it a little tighter, the curve becomes more pronounced. So this is the final form, the X form span, which if you look at it end on, there makes about half a circle. Um, if you were to make some more X's, it might even go in a complete circle. Or if you wanted to, you could even they'll just close it right up so it's a stick form. They're like this. So the arch is made there very, very tightly. And the whichever form you choose is entirely up to you. But the book explains this in some detail. And it also gives many variations for stretching and compressing as well to give different forms of arches.